Hi, my name is Lisa Esten, and I'm visiting with Jessica at the Gardens today. What is a song you go to for upliftment? Uh, the song I would go to for upliftment is called Over the Rainbow, and it's by Hawaiian gentleman. I always call him Izzy. It's uplifting, but it's very calming. Highly recommended. He has a lot of ukulele music inside, so you can just sit back, relax, and almost feel like you're on the water. Well, I have an interesting story about my favorite flower. It was a flower I didn't think was very pretty at all, but my paternal grandfather was a farmer, and certain time of year, the Fasithia bush was just starting to turn green, and you know, he loved this, this bush. Like, it was at the end of the driveway, so he'd, he'd tell us to run down and cut some branches, and you know, it was a twig with little green flowers that would turn yellow, but even they weren't impressive. You know, he says, but that's the first sign of spring. You know, the Fasithia is one of the first ones to turn. Well, now, you know, it's, it's almost like a sign from him every spring, you know, they're, they're green and then all of a sudden they stop popping. So now they're almost one of the most beautiful flowers I can see. And it's funny, the, one of the other flowers is my maternal grandmother's favorite flower was the lilacs. So I, I think because they grew up on a farm, the spring flowers kind of was telling what was coming and winter was almost over. Now, I didn't see a ghost, but I could feel its presence. My son was probably three or four months old, and it was a nighttime feeding, so I was nursing him. And, you know, he was all done, so I was just sitting there holding him, and, you know, all of a sudden I felt very calming, and Andrew could see something, like, just over my shoulder, because he wasn't looking at me, but he was laughing and smiling. And for some reason, I knew it was my paternal grandfather. You know, he was no longer alive, but I knew he was visiting and watching over Andrew. You know, just the sh pure joy in Andrew's face during that time was, it was amazing. Do you feel like that had, that experience had shaped some of your beliefs about, you know, believing in ghosts or not ghosts or spiritual life after death? Um, oh, definitely life after death. Mm -hmm. um, believing just people around to help us. Mm -hmm. You know, they're there, going to reach out, reach out if you need to talk to somebody. Mm -hmm. um, the most important influential person in my life would be my father, Greg Squilanti. Um, he's been gone almost six years now, but I find myself passing along his lessons to people who didn't know him. You know, for example, the other day I was talking to one of our friends and I was telling a story how, you know, if I needed Mark's help with something, you know, I could either try to convince him with an argument why this is what we should do, or just kind of say, this is what I need to have done, and what do you think? And it was very important. My father always said, you could be right and get your way, but very rare is that true. So pick what's more, more important. Is it more important to you to be right, or is it more important to get your way? And I'm a big fan of getting your way. I don't care who, who who's right, as long as what I need to happen, happens. Um, but I find myself you know, sharing lots of wisdom to the people who are unfortunate enough to meet him. Thank you. Thank you so much.